Uh, this is a lit code question number uh, 2019. Uh, pass with maximum goal. This is medium question. Let's get into it. In a gold mine, grid of size m by n, uh, each cell in the mine has an integer representing amount of gold in a cell. Zero is empty. Return maximum amount of gold you can collect under the condition. Uh, each time you are located in a cell, you will collect all the gold in a cell. From your position, you can work one step to the left, right, up, or down. You can visit the same cell more than once. Never visit a cell with zero gold. You can start with stop collecting gold from any position in a grid that has some gold. Let's check with example 1. In this time, uh -huh, max is 9 digging to 8 digging to 7. At that time, we can collect 24. Second is start from 1 digging 2, digging 3, digging 4, digging 5, digging 6, digging 7. In this time, uh, the maximum sum is 28. <coughs> How can we solve it? Yes, uh, we're gonna use backtracking. Uh, we did the mm hmm. Only back backtracking is okay with graph. So, uh, there are some um, obstacles while we implement it. Uh, so we will check uh, while we coding. Okay. First, uh, we have the uh, max sum global variable, and then we need the uh, recursion. Uh, for backtracking, so uh, name is helper. Helper argument is now column and then sum. Then sum initialize with zero because every every step we need to the sum. Okay, first, uh huh. The question have two part. First is base case and equation relationship and then best case is if not now we need to now is slow the read and column also higher than zero and then lower than length grid zero now and uh, grid now and column must be bigger than zero. In this case, we need to return. And then, when you return, we will update the max sum. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Max sum is max maximum value, max sum with current sum. Now let's do equation relationship. First, we will calculate some sum add uh -huh. read the current position, and then we will need to visit mark. Uh, there are one idea to marking visit. Uh, I gonna uh, multiply minus one to. Uh, make value negative. The reason is uh, if we make the this one is negative, uh, this will under this condition. So uh, backtracking did not go in there. That means uh, backtracking did not go into visited part. It does make sense. And then we can get one more benefit. Mean is after uh finish it it will be roll back uh, when it will be roll back we need it to uh, reset the value to original at this time we can simply 
uh, multiply my negative minus 1 and then it will be get original value okay now the equation helper now column sum and then I will digging for direct try to dig in for direction first plus one color plus one now minus one color minus one and then after finish it okay now color I will visit the mark negative one mark and then after finish one when we roll back I will reset the original value like this okay uh-huh I think that we finished the uh, recursion for backtracking and then now we scan the grid for allow in range planes grid and for column in range then grid 0 and then if grid now column is not 0 and then I will call helper now column no need to write this up because I already initialize is 0 and then I return max sum. Let's check. Okay, looks good. <clears throat> okay, good. Okay, let's check the complexity. It take the linear to uh, scan, and then when it digging. It just doing only the one time. So maximum each cell visit only the two time. So each the uh, log uh, each uh, big O to M. So we can say it take linear time, and then we use a system stack for a recursion. At this time, uh, worst case is there are all cell value has a positive number at this time uh, we can use the same amount of the length of set so we can say it take linear time with linear space thank you